Okay, hi everybody, it is me, Bonkai922, yet again. Shokugeki no Soma. This was a great episode. Um, pretty much this is the... This arc is pretty much when they basically all the first year high schoolers everyone else between get sent to this camp. Which essentially is disguised as, oh, to get to know each other, when in actuality it's weeding out the weak. And basically, it's a weak camp where they're going to give them tasks and see if they can do them. They survive it. Like half of the students are going to be eliminated. There's like a thousand people, a thousand students. And half of them will be eliminated. And we get introduced, yo, some of these guys, some of these characters of the alumni, yo, shit goes down. No pun intended. Especially Shinomiya. Yo, this guy. Yo, this motherfucker. Yo, I can't wait for that shit to go down. It's going to be awesome. But we get introduced to him, Jin, um, yo, the guy who's, yo, if you know who I'm talking about, yo, we made the manga. <clears throat> and everyone else. And, um, basically we get introduced to those people, um, they eliminate one person, <laughs> you know, me, uh, yo, he eliminated somebody because of the stuff in their hair. Yo, that was go. But, um, you know, and, and what really impressed me about this episode was the animation. I thought it was very, very well. Um, especially, oh, yeah, the, uh, we got introduced to the Aldini brothers. Also, and this is what I'm noticing JC staff's doing. Can you please stop teasing us like that? There's one character that they show the back to head of. It looks like a woman. A girl. And I know who it is. But it's frustrating as fuck. Because it's like, what are you doing, man? You're just, you're just throwing it out there. like. But yeah, but that happened. And we got introduced to the Aldini brothers. And it was so funny because the older one, I believe it's the older one, He's like trying to challenge Soma and and younger brothers. Just, That's lame, Odi Chad. I'm like, yo, just pushed his brother under the bus. But um, they basically have the task with that girl, that woman. I forgot her name. His Soko. She's basically one who excels as a chef in Japanese Japanese cuisine. And the two brothers basically. Everyone's going out for, for fish and for getting fish. Because basically they, they have to procure ingredients through nature. You know. And what the brothers do is they get a duck. And they, they they serve it to her. And, and, and some of like the students are like all gone on their ass because that they didn't use there's nothing Japanese about that dish. <clears throat> In actuality, it is. Because they basically used um, this fish's organs to create the sauce and mix it with something else. And that's how it was Japanese. And basically served her and she says she, that they pass. And this is like, this guy Aldini, he has a connection with Soma. Because just like Soma, he has his restaurant as well. And that's the connection. He, he He's not... I don't consider him like a real rival. I mean, yeah, he had his little thing with Soma, but it wasn't really to an extent. It wasn't something that, oh, it's a constant. Not really. Not really, but 
you know, he showed his talent and now Soma, because he's very similar to Soma in many ways, with how great his meals, the fact that they both have their own restaurants that they work at, you know, that whole bit. But it seems like, and that's basically what happened in the episode, and next week, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, we're going to get Soma basically doing his dish for her. And that should be interesting. Um, overall rating, even though the animation was pretty solid, and I like what was going on there, four and a half out of five. Because there was this really weird moment that she's dancing with a duck. The guy with a duck mask on his head. Thing on his head. But still, it was a good episode. Four and a half out of five. Now, what I'm waiting for. Yeah. Without spoiling too much. She don't be it. Yo, this guy. Yo, you guys don't know. You don't know this guy. This guy is, yo, with shit. Shit's gonna go down with this guy. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh, it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be amazing. Um, but yeah, four and a half out of five. Someone's gonna do his dish um next week, and uh, yeah, we go from there. But yeah, I mean, he steps on Shoma's shoe. Like, come on, guy, really? Be Italian. Don't be uh whatever. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, good episode. Um, presentation of the alumni were pretty awesome. I liked how that was done. Oh, by the way, <clears throat> I will probably never show any fucking respect for Irena. And this has nothing to do with the episode. This has to do with the manga, the chapters that came out recently. Without, I'm not going to spoil it here, but what was revealed in that chapter made me realize she's a bitch, a bimbo, and she has no reason whatsoever to start saying, I hate him, I want to expel. No reason. Because of what was revealed. I'm like, you're fodder. Irena's fodder, in my opinion. No. Get the fuck out. Compared to everybody else, you're fodder. Get the fuck out. Ray has a little mini rant there. But anyway, yeah. Bonka 922. See you guys later. Yo, just thinking about shooting Mia, man. That guy. Yo. He's kind of a douche. That's later on. We'll talk about that later on. I'm Bob Kanai Tensu. I'll see you guys later. Aldini, he's all right. He's just, I don't consider him a rival for Soma. I'm sorry. I really don't. I'll see you guys later.